Hi, this is Tammy, and I'm a man, Tupperware man's wife, and I'm using the Espinada work, uh, maker, and it's really simple. All you have to do is you take the Espinada maker and you put it down. You take your crust, ready-made crust, and put it across it, just like that. And then I happen to have some Sloppy Joe mix that I have left over, so I'm going to use that first. And just fill in just like that and take it by the handles and close it oops didn't quite get it in there there we go and just squeeze then you rip away the excess and you have a nice neat little tart which you can fill these with fruit or just about anything. And I'm going to make ham and cheese next. Hi, it's me again, and I'm just uh, going into my Tupperware. This doubles as a deviled egg keeper as well as a lunch meat or cheese keeper. And I'm getting my uh, Swiss cheese and my ham out to make uh, ham and cheese calzones. And if you'll notice over here in my kitchen, we not only sell Tupperware, but we also use it on a daily basis, if not more often. Uh, this is for my coffee and my Sweet and Low and my coffee filters, and this is my new canister set that I just got. And it uh, holds my sugar and my, uh, some people do cornmeal, but I do uh, breadcrumbs, because we use that many breadcrumbs. And then I also have this set back here, which is also Tupperware, which I love because you can tell that I have my croutons in there. And this is my spice rack, nice and handy, nice and easy to get to. My Tupperware can opener that doesn't leave any rough edges or sharp edges so that if I open up a can of cat food, I don't cut my cat. And then the cute little uh, personal salt and pepper shakers. Oh, and let's not forget my honey keeper. Really great for coffee. All right, now I'm ready to make the ham and cheese calzones. You simply take your Swiss cheese and stick it in there. Put your ham right on top and another slice of Swiss cheese and that makes everything all stick together. And because I have two of them here, I'm gonna cut right here between. And just to make it quick and easy, squeeze together, rip off the excess, and well, there it is. More ham on mine. That one slice or two slices? Two. Okay, cool. How many? Maybe one with a ham and turkey. All right. Okay. Mm hmm. And we do our two slices of cheese. One. Get one too many. And ham. This turkey and ham really stay fresh in these containers. Because they're triple sealed. And there's some turkey. Uh, that's good, honey. You wanted extra turkey. But you always layer the cheese in between. That's the secret, because the cheese makes everything Holy stick cow, together. That's going to be one heck of a Calzone. Yeah. Okay, ready? And we just go like that and squeeze out all the excess. And squeeze. And there we are. Holy cow. You look good. And now I'm going to take my cherry pie filling okay. and make some cherry pies for dessert right along with it. Okay, here I'm using my handy uh, Tupperware can opener because I don't want any sharp edges in my um, garbage. And you'll find that this is great for someone who has arthritis. And this is not only left-handed, but it's also right-handed it and then take this not just because I want it I won't be able to do it and 
See how easy it lifts up? And there's no sharp edges anywhere to cut anyone. And you just I'm rubbing my fingers right across it. Look at that. Huh? I'm squeezing it. Well, careful. You're going to get cherry juice huh? all over you. Okay. Yeah, you're right. There ain't no sharp edges. No. And there's no sharp edges on the can either. The can has no sharp edges whatsoever. You're right. So what are we making here? Honey? This is the little cherry tarts for dessert. And um, I usually use the Pillsbury um, pie dough. But this happened to have been on sale, so I thought I'd try it. And again, you just squeeze all the way around. Tear off the excess. Seems kind of a waste to waste the dough, but. And oh, we have a little tart. That looks. See? Mm -hmm. You're going to make some extra meat on the <laughs> Yes, dear, I'll make you some extra. I only want two. I don't want any more than two. Well, now you do. I thought, yeah. You thought what? Yucky? I don't make Huge. yucky food. No, you make nice little personal size ones this way. Honey. Hi, it's me again. Just showing you the last step. You just take some uh, spray. I can't believe it's not butter. And spray it across the top of these, and that'll help seal them. And stick them right in the oven at 350 degrees until they're golden. My oven was preheated. And cleanup is such a breeze with Tupperware. It's literally a snap. Once you've gotten everything in, just simply snap it into place. Hear that nice Tupperware seal? And I always burp mine just in case. And all this is ready to be put away. And we can start our next phase. Our Chef Series pots and pans that are new are really great for cooking. And again, I just use my can opener and watch how quick this goes. It actually doesn't feel like it's even touching the can. When I first started using these, I thought I hadn't gotten it on right. And then I realized you can actually hear the click when it's done. And then you just simply place it on. And lift off. Yeah, it's not going to work just because I want it to. Huh. And again, no sharp edges. Pour it in. Put it on simmer until your step is ready. And you've got your marinade to dip your calzone into. Plain, simple, easy. And if you want to add a little fresh tomato, we have, naturally we have our tomato keeper, which keeps it nice and fresh and seals great. A little too great. You can slice it in. Clean up with these is so easy. You just simply rinse them off. And they're dishwasher safe. Put them in your top rack though. I highly recommend just the top rack. But see how nice and clean they came? Mm -hmm. Nice and easy. And you'll notice with the can opener, there's no mess around where it's chewed up the paper or chewed up anything. So you don't have any food debris or anything on your can opener. You can't get to spread germs. Yeah, it's great. I love it. And that's my presentation for today. Thank you. Well, we'll continue and uh, see how it turns out, huh? Maybe the next batch. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's me again. Just want to show you the empanadas come in a set of two for $12. And that comes with a great cookbook, which is in two languages, both Spanish and English, because these are Portuguese empanada makers, or Spanish, and that means stuffed bread or stuffed pastry, which you can either do the meat, as I showed you, or a fruit filling for uh, dessert. 
Our dinner is almost ready, so let me take it out of the oven and show Once you. Once they're golden, uh, according to you got to bake them according to the package directions on your dough. Then you simply put them on your plate. They're nice and golden. That was about 20 minutes. And let me give them one of these. Oop, that one kind of... Using my Tupperware utensils, which we have all different kinds, all different shapes. And they come as a nice, neat package if you want to give them as a gift. Oh, I'll put the rest of that for you. What's great is I bake dessert the same time I'm making dinner. Take our Chef Series pan, pour a little sauce across. Doesn't that just look delicious? And look at how steamy. Okay, I'll cut it open and show you. Ah, and we're all set to eat. Gotta let it cool a little. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Take a taste. Here, baby, you take a taste. Because that's hot. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, we gotta stop this. I gotta go, go eat. Okay. Thank you for enjoying and viewing, and I hope you try it with yourself. Don't forget, Empanada Makers are only $12, and it's on our website. Just hit the link and take you right to Tupperware. No eBay, no Amazon. No, no eBay, no Amazon. Yeah. Nothing like that. You can go straight from our site and right into Tupperware and order your own set. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.